Fire. Yeah. Oh my Flame fuck. Flame a little lower. There Ready? Again. Yeah. Just a quick little update. Got some parts in the mail. The tank will be here later today. Um, water pumps here. I'm gonna do that in a minute, but while I have your attention, go over to waynesmerch.com. Check out my shirts, my hoodies, phone cases, all kinds of neat stuff. I'm adding new stuff almost every single day whenever I get bored. You're helping out the channel, help buying the pig some meat. Helps me make new content and bring you guys new videos. So today, I'm gonna be getting this water pump on so that I can get the mount on for the air compressor that will power the tank and everything. That way I can get this thing off the jacks and on the ground under its own weight, finalize the shocks, etc. Thanks, wind. So, uh, yeah, let me get this thing off, get this new one on, and uh, we'll go from there. Pro tip, if you have this tab right here on the top of your thermostat housing, instead of just the two bolt holes, this extra little tab means you have a one piece thermostat and you'll have to order accordingly. But it looks like this water pump, the new one, not have a groove for that o-ring so I'm gonna have to assume that this is the LS2 style which will require a two-piece uh, the housing and this will be two separate pieces so I'll have to order that or this I haven't figured it out yet but we're about to find out uh, let's see if this fits into this guy doesn't look like it will Everything lines up, so it must be, yeah, it's the same. This O-ring's just got to get transferred over, I guess. Probably comes with the new one. All right, so we'll get that off of here. Oh, yeah, she's just melted to the surface. That was all. All right, so this is LS1 style pump, so it'll use the one piece thermostat which has this piece coming up off the top this is non removable that sucks so now you know if you want to go to the two-piece design you'll need to order a LS2 that I think it's on a GTO and 04 and up the LS2 comes with a two-piece so you don't have to change this you can actually just change the thermostat and then there's a couple other reasons, like if you want to put this back on and flush the system, um, you can pull the thermostat and put it back on. So there's a couple of reasons to do it. I'm not doing it now, but... The reasoning behind this is the gasket over here was leaking and it was running all the way down and I could see it puddling under the car and it was a slow drip but anyway the gasket was bad and you see what it takes to get to the gasket and the gaskets come with the new pump the pump was working fine but that leak was gonna bother me eventually and if I'm about to mount the compressor mount right here that mounts on this pump as well, I don't want to have to pull all this off to get the pump out to do it later. So I'm going to do this now, then put the compressor on, and then not have to deal with it for another, I don't know, probably 100, 150,000. So now I'm just going to, um, just for funsies, put some ticky tack on here. 
so I know it's nice and sticky and on the back of the pump and I'm also going to apply some anti-seize on these threads because they're steel going into an aluminum block. having a tough time with a hole not wanting to thread and there's a bunch of gunk in there you can take a bolt cut you a couple of slivers in it with a cutting wheel kind of like a tap and then you just run it into that hole and then it'll clean the threads out for you of gunk in there. Waiting on parts and fittings and other stuff. So, if you could, do me a favor, go to waynesmerch.com. In the video description below, click the link, buy something. You'll be helping me out a lot. It's my birthday, so every little bit helps. Let's get this thing on the road and at some shows. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, guys, keep on modding.